In this video, we will review a product that's called Plannerly. This platform is great for BIM management, and I came across with this platform about three or four years ago, and I was like really surprised and really interested to use it, but at that time, the pricing was quite on the high side. It was only available for early adopter, adopters or large-scale uh, companies. But recently, they revised their pricing policy. It's absolutely for free. You have nothing to lose and you can get free benefits out of it. Planoly has some great features, including you can scope, you can build your BIM execution plan, employer information requirements, and so forth, and further develop it into a level of development matrix. Then you can track, then you can verify. So it has quite great features. Obviously, not all of them for free. I would like to make a disclaimer that this video is not sponsored by Planoly. Again, in the link below, you can absolutely get a free account. You don't, you have nothing to lose. Let's jump into the product. I will be introducing you to a project to be done and monitored with Plannerly. Uh, right now, this project is located in Los Angeles. It's a residential project, a new construction, and our team already worked on it for conceptual design, schematic design, and design development. Now it's in the construction documentation phase. We'll be using Plannerly to plan, scope, schedule, track, and verify the project. So basically, plan and scope is the actual planning process. Schedule and track is the, um, the process that you monitor how the project is progressing. And verify is the approval platform, approval area of the platform. This project is going to be done only within our team. So we will be organizing it and scheduling and tracking it between our team members. Obviously, when you have a multiple team, you can get a better effect and better results by using Planoly, but still within a single team, it's really effective to use. Let's start with the planning process. This area, you can put your uh, EIR, uh, exchange information requirements, or employer's information requirements, you can call, uh, BIM execution plan, um, and many other components that you can, you can integrate into the, this planning area. Um, the good thing over here is that you can add things from the library. You don't have to write all those stuff and we can actually extract many of the components from the library and you can compile a document very, very quickly. And this is open source and sometimes um, the, the, plan, uh, the team adds new um, templates here and you will love it because you, they're constantly updating the, the sections. The next section is that's going to be very useful is a scope. Actually, that, that is, that's a crazy good um, area because a lot of people say LOI, LOA now with the new ISO and uh, level of information needed, obviously, with new ISO. And um, now some, I have recently heard level of geometry and level of definition. There is a level of de detail. There's a level of information. So lots of lots of LOIs, LO LODs, LOGs. And so in order to define your own version, and it's clear that that's what you meant when a with a particular LOD, um, you can simply mark and adjust everything based on what the level of development you are going for, what is the detail, and what you have in mind with that. What is it's included into its components, so you can further open it up and tell like input what you want it to be included. And when you go into the beginning over here, you can see that we are currently using as a project standard LOD UIS BIM forum. You can simply change it to any other LODs you are interested in. One of the best part of the schedule is that you can actually arrange a volume strategy. So for example, one of my colleagues will focus on the exterior wall framing while um, another colleague will focus on interior walls. So they don't really clash. So they can at the same time work um, and the BIM 360 collaborate and they will not even interfere with one another. That's really good because we don't, they, don't, they will not need a lot of um, time to communicate the details or that they can just specifically focus on their particular task. At the same time, you can see how you would like to arrange what items to tackle first, what items to tackle second, and how they are linked to each other. When you have planning in front of you, that is that speeds up the process a lot, and it's, it makes it transparent and clear for everyone. And when someone works um, in particular task, it, you can go to the track, which is Kanban. I love Kanban, and I'm glad that Toyota Production Systems they innovated this workflow in the manufacturing innovation. This workflow is great because you can just when when the tasks are into doing that, they're ninety percent. And when my colleague starts focusing on those three tasks, I can easily say that it's still sixty percent of the tasks will be done. 40% is in the progress. And then when they are ready to review, they can simply put it over here and they can assign 
my name to it. So which is now I can, I can go to the verify section. I can know that, all right, I have to tackle those uh, and uh, they are ready to verify. So I can see that they're in the review page. So I have to review them and inform my colleagues accordingly. Basically, if I go to the, the go to the model, this model is linked through BIM 360, and I can see it up to the latest model, latest version of BIM 360 model. And uh, it's really easy to link things and filter them. Because, for example, especially for the internal part of the building, external is a little bit easier because if there's external, uh, for the exterior wall framing, if I select the external walls, I can easily say link, and then when I click, I can see the exterior. Oh, oh that's a little bit like, I, I don't have to really filter them out to see the exterior ones, but for interior ones, it's like, it, it's harder for me. I have to cut the building all the time. But instead, if I show all and cut the, start cutting the building, building ones, and then I assign, I go inside the building and I start, I start assigning some, you know, like walls for me. And then I will be, I will be able to link them to the, my interior walls. And then when I'm not cutting the building, obviously the, show, the full building is being shown. I just click on the interior walls and I see all the interior wall components. If you want to go further, you want to check, for example, the fire rating. Or you can assign a checklist to it earlier on uh, or now. So fire writing, and then you can say material, and then I can easily check and compare whether they have material and fire writing. So by clicking on the wall and going on the properties, I can scroll down. I can see that there's a structural material. I'm okay with it. Material is there. Um, obviously, the I'm maybe like it depends on my role. I'm, uh, I might not be interested exactly if this material is right or not. But if it's there or not, that's what I'm interested. Obviously, it depends on the role, as I said. So a uh, fire rating, there, is, there isn't any fire rating. So I cannot check it. So I can actually pull it back to uh, in progress, and I can assign my colleague uh, to this task and say, hey, you need to just assign fire rating. Yeah, here. So and then I, I will just do fire rating. Yeah, I mean, like, I put a, I put a checklist for it and I assign it. So it's, it's really easy where well, progress actually tackled the wrong task. When you make the review and verification process so easy by using Plannerly, especially if you have a larger teams, uh, like other people, even with smaller teams, it makes the process really transparent, easy to communicate, especially like when we have a COVID-19 where everyone is working from home. So I can really communicate e effectively and efficiently with my team. Who's doing what? I can easily see and put comments. I can see what plans are going, and like lots of details can be involved. Um, this is a really great way of working. So, and then right now, the Plannerly you can just go in the link below, and you can see that Plannerly is for free. So just hit the link below, sign up for a free account. The more people use it, the more features we will get, and the more feedback we will get. So to provide a feedback, particular feedback, you can just go and share idea and or send message directly to the team. They will love to hear any bugs or feedbacks you're discovering. So for example, one of the bugs that I recently discovered, if you go um, and write in the title an end sign, the, the line automatically goes to the front and you, can, you start, you will not be able to type anymore. Even though you start typing here, the line will go in the front. But when I'm writing them right now, by the time the video is being published, most probably will not have this bug. So they are really, really fast fixing stuff. And then in the end, you can print all your documentation. You can send it by email if you want, or you can share those with the, um, with the with all the people you invite in the project. The pricing plans are also very affordable. You want to give a, uh, give a hand to, the, to, the, this, to this app so they can develop further features. That will be awesome. Finally, we are trying to publish part two version of this um, be planner later vision where we tackle the scope, schedule, and track and verify in detail so you can get more out of it. If you would like to see that revised version part two, please um, attend in the poll above and so we know that you're interested in the part two. If you would like to learn more about LOD, level of development, level of detail, level of definition, and or else according to ISO, uh, low in level of information needed, Click on this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because every week we are going to publish one content for you. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on. See you next time.